안녕하세요. Hello everyone. I'm Kyung Hwa Sun from Talk to Me in Korean. And for an hour, I'm going to go through Talk to Me in Korean level 2 book today. Yay! We actually stopped studying in the middle of lesson 19 last week. So I'm going to restart studying lesson 19 today. 안녕하세요. Hello, Soul Sarah. Uh, Ellie Cat, beautiful teacher. Thank you. I brought an apple for the teacher. Seth Bachman. 왜요? 왜 사과 가져왔어요? MC. Anyone here who had bought workbook? Is it worth to buy? I'm in lesson one thinking of buying workbook. Oh, I definitely recommend <laughs> studying with our workbooks because you know you cannot test yourself you don't know how you improved how much you improved hello 안녕하세요 bella sky Onni. oh by the way for those who are watching not watching this live um there are timestamps in the description box below so you can check that out hi from japan 안녕하세요 lovely dream sally jazz I don't know why you listen to me. Hello, MC Monica from India, Dao, Midnight, Hyojin, Annyeong Haseyo, Kwan, Jenna, Annyeong Haseyo, Bella, work, workbooks are really helpful. It's hard to practice without them. That's right. And also, actually, a lot of people ask um, me whether or not there are answer keys for our workbooks, but yes, there are answer keys for our workbook so you can check out the answers at the end of the book so don't worry <laughs> 안녕 안녕하세요 Kat, Katerina you're so lovely lovely dream thank you you're so lovely too your nickname is already lovely lovely dream <laughs> Na, uh, Maya 안녕하세요 Habin Kwan Midnight Hyojin from Philippines, Kirk P. 미국인 아저씨 드림. <laughs> so you are 미국인 아저씨? <laughs> 안녕하세요, from Arizona. Um, Greece, Margie. Margie, Margie. Love from Greece. Yeah, how's Greece nowadays? Hi, teacher. It's my birthday today. Yabi Kantor. 생일 축하합니다. Happy birthday. 생일 축하합니다. 생일 축하합니다. 사랑하는 야비칸토 <laughs> 생일 축하합니다. Yeah. Good morning. Start. Start and. Oh, start. Start and ten ten. Good morning. Ululu. Uh, Lululu Buna, I'm from Morocco. I love you. I love you too. Eman Kuderi, hi, I'm from Egypt. Sengechukamida Jess G. It's my first time to watch your live class and not record it. Oh, Andy Idioma, yeah, finally you're watching live. Yes. Hello, I'm from Kuwait. Bash. Bashu Bashu ninety-five An Anyon <laughs> Princess Symphony So Princess Symphony wrote An Anyon <laughs> But you have to say Anyong Anyong So in Korea if something is incorrect you write X and when something is correct, we write O, circle. From Mexico, 안녕하세요. Procrastinating my online assignments while watching this. Yeah, always when you have an exam tomorrow or when you have to write a report by tonight, something like that, always you want to do something else, right? Like even cleaning up your room and like in case uh i mean in my case i always <laughs> take out all the books from my bookcase 
and then rearrange <laughs> my books <laughs> and then yeah put them in back into into my bookcase that's what i do like the previous day before exam <laughs> you know like cleaning up your uh, desk study desk 안녕하세요 from New Zealand 안녕하세요 what's our lesson today 선생님 okay so we actually started lesson 19 at the end of uh, last week's live stream last Friday and then suddenly it crashed so I couldn't say goodbye to you guys I couldn't say have a nice weekend last Friday and then it just turned off automatically sorry about that everyone so I'm gonna Start from page 115 today. Talk to me in Korean level 2 book, page 115. 안녕하세요, from New Zealand. Live 많이 좋아요, Nicolas Fam. 감사합니다. I'm so happy, Black Lady Dioli. It's okay, teacher, Andy Idioma. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. So, yeah, so we were talking about. So this is level 2, lesson 19, and it's about oops, which makes which makes a verb into a noun. If you attach to a verb, the uh, verb stem, it becomes a noun. So, for example, we did, oh, so we actually already learned how to conjugate. So, for example, to buy is 사다 in Korean, 사다. And the verb stem, what's the verb stem of 사다? 슬퍼요, Demetria. Why are you sad? Christine Chan, I don't have the textbook, but I'm still watching. Yeah, it's okay. That's right. Sa. The verb stem is sa. And you attach 는 것. And it becomes 사는 것. And what does 사는 것 mean? 사는 것. It's okay. Because last week's class ending without saying goodbye. Oh, that's why you were sad. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully, today I'm gonna be able to end the lesson successfully without any problem, without any glitch. Buying, buying, to buy something, the thing I bought, the thing I buy, something that was bought. Okay, so 사는 것, because 사다 means to buy. 사는 것 means buying, the act of buying, the thing which one buys or what one buys. So this is, this is present tense. Oops, present tense. How about if you want to say, what if you want to say what you bought? So this one means what one buys. How, what if you want to say what one bought? First, of course, you have to Combine 사 from 사다, which is a verb stem of 사다. Yes, everyone, well done, yes. You have to attach 니은 것 in this case, so that it becomes 산 것, 산 것. So 산 것 means what one bought, and 사는 것 means what one buys, and future, future tense. Future tense. 
what one will buy. And in that case, 사 plus. Oh yeah, it's not 사는 것. 사는 것 is wrong. 사는 것 is incorrect. How about what one will buy? Yes, everyone. Yes, you have to attach. Lear, cut, so that it becomes 살 것. So 살 것 means what one will buy. So you will ask like 살것 적었어? Like did you write down what you will buy? Or have you written down what you will buy? 살것 적었어? What level are we studying today? Are all we are doing Talk to Me Korean level 2 and lesson 19 right now. Page 115. Yes, 살 것. And now let's practice making three different tenses with the verb 먹다. 먹다. 먹다 means of course, the easy one, to eat. And what one eats. How do you say this in Korean? What one eats? Do you add the noun before verb? Oh, 먹은 것, 먹는 것, 먹는 것, 먹은 것. Okay, so this one is present tense. Present tense, you attach, you attach 는 것. That's right. So you have to attach 는 것 for the present tense. So what one eats is 먹는 것. How about what one ate? What I ate, what you ate, what he ate, what she ate. Past, past tense. What do you add to the verbs then? Bok. Oops. Yes, that's right. Since this mock ends with a consonant, unlike sa, sa ended with a vowel, so you add attached nian batim, nian find a consonant, and then kot. But in this case, since mock ends with the consonant, you add 은 것, 은 것, 은 것. So what one ate is 먹은 것. Yes, 먹은 것. What lesson are we on? 19, level 2, lesson 19. Um, And then future tense. What, oops, what one will eat? What do you attach? Is there a typo then? NS, where? Where is the typo? That's right, yes, you attach 을 것. So, 먹을 것 means what one will eat. So, what I will eat, what you will eat, what someone will eat, that is 먹을 것. 먹을 것. Yes. So, Basically, you attach 는 것 to the present tense and the, the, for the past tense, you add 니은 것 or 은 것 and then for the future tense, you add 리을 것 or 을 것. And if you listen to uh, what Korean people say, you will probably hear a lot of times um, 거 instead of that's because just it's easier to pronounce call than cut. So a lot of people say um ngo. is the standard form, but often at times the form ngo is used because it's easier to pronounce. It is not, however, ever used in very formal situations and also in written uh, text. So you better you better 
right you better write cut when you write as maybe like report or maybe write an essay during the test yes you better use cut but yeah in spoken language call is totally fine and it's much easier call so nunga nunga are the same thing but nunga is more colloquial and easier to pronounce and it's used a lot in everyday conversations so let's move on to the example sentences 지금 듣는 것은 노래예요 지금 듣는 것은 노래예요 this is the first example sentence. What does this mean? 예문해주세요. Yeah, that's right. This is the first 예문. <laughs> 지금 듣는 것은 노래예요. How about during texting? Daniel Gwen. Right? Daniel Gwen. Uh, yeah, you can use call. I mean, it's up to you. You can use call. And you can also use call. It's up to you. It's your choice. Singing? Yes, that's right. 노래 means song. Yes, 노래 means song. So then, 지금 듣는 것은 노래예요. What does that mean? What song is this? The song I'm currently listening to. Oh, I'm listening to a song. I'm listening to a song. I'm listening. To... Okay, so a lot of people are saying I'm listening to a song now. But let's focus on um, 듣는 것. 듣는 것. What does 듣는 것 mean? 듣는 것. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. 듣다 means, yes, everyone, to listen or to hear. And 것 means, yes, that's right. Thing. Oops. Thing. So 듣는 것 means the thing I, the thing I listen to. The thing I listen to. But probably... A song but yeah literally because this person used the word caught let's translate literally at first the thing I listen to is 듣는 것 because 는 것 this one 는 것 is the present tense right so the thing that I listen to is 듣는 것 듣는 것은 노래예요 듣는 것은 노, 노래예요. 듣는 것 means the thing I listen to and 노래. 노래 means? 노래 right. means song. So the thing, the thing I listen to is 은 노래예요. A song. The thing I listen to is a song. The thing I listen to is a song. That's right. Yes. And now let's move. Uh, let's attach 지금. 지금 듣는 것은 노래예요. That's right. Yes. Fletcher studies. Correct. The oops. Because 지금 means now. You can say the thing I listen to now is a song. This is a literal translation. But in English, it doesn't sound natural, right? So let me rephrase. What I listen to now is a song. Or actually, the present tense sounds um, not 
it doesn't sound 100% natural in English, so you can understand it as present progressive tense. So it can also mean what I am listening to now is a song. So um, in Korean, if you want to say the present progressive tense, you have to use ko itta form. Ko itta. So you can also say 지금 듣고 있는 노 듣고 있는 것은 노래예요. 지금 듣고 있는 것은 노래예요. 지금 듣는 것은 노래예요. Are the same thing. 불자연스러워요. Kirk P. Um, you have to say 부자연스러워요. 불자연 no 불 어, 불자연, no, 부자연. 부자연스러워요. 부자연스러워요. That's right. So, 지금 듣고 있는 것은 노래예요. 지금 듣는 것은 노래예요. Both means, I, what I'm listening to now is a song. 잘 가르쳐 주고 있어요. Liana, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. 불가능, yes, 불가능 is impossible. 부자연, yes, that's right. 지금 듣고 있는 노래 Can you replace the cut with 듣는 노래? Um, 지금 듣고 있는 노래는 노래예요. Doesn't make sense, right? Well, the song I'm listening to now is a song. Doesn't make sense, right? So, 지금 듣고 있는 것은 노래예요. Why someone would say this sentence? Maybe because someone could be listening to a like English studying material or Korean studying material or Chinese studying material or radio, you know, like not a song. Maybe, oh, are you listening to the radio? No, what I'm listening to now is a song in this kind of context. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to the next example sentence. Oh, by the way, you can also say, of course, 지금 듣는 거는 노래예요. 지금 듣고 있는 거는 노래예요. You can say 거는 instead of 것은. 거는, 것은. Are the same thing, but cousin sounds much more formal, and also it suits for the text, you know, like a written text. I mean, compared to the colloquial language, but conan mm, looks better when you speak. <laughs> it doesn't look pretty when you write it. What's your name? My name. My name is Kyunghwa Sun. Yes, 지금 듣고 있는 거는 노래예요. 지금 듣는 거는 노래예요. Are fine as well. Let's move on to the second example sentence, which is 오늘 만나는 것 알아요? 오늘 만나는 것 알아요? What does this mean? 지금 듣고 있는 노래는 빨간 벨벳 사이코야. <laughs> um, you don't have to translate red into Korean. Because the, that's the title, that's the name of the group. So, Red Velvet, you can say Red Velvet. 지금 듣고 있는 노래는 Red Velvet의 사이코야. You can say that. Um, JR, you can say 지금 듣고 있는 노래는 Red Velvet 사이코야. 지금 듣고 있는 것은 선생님이에요. <laughs> Kirk B. Yeah. 지금 듣고 있는 것은 선생님 수업이에요. 수업 is a lesson. That's right. Yes, everyone. Do you know what we are? Uh, do you know that we are meeting today? Yesy 9663. Correct. Mm -hmm. Trixie Cruz. Am I seeing you today? Yes, that's a very natural translation. Um, do you know we are meeting today? Nia loves Bangtan. Correct. So, 만나는 것. What is 만나는 것? 
만나는 거 you can you could translate it into the thing <laughs> the thing the, the thing one meets but it doesn't make sense so let's translate it in a different way because it, there are so many ways of translating nun god right like doing something or the act of doing something or the thing which one does or what one does or the fact that one is doing or does something so 만나는 것 is that's right yes yes that's right so uh among these five maybe the fact that one is doing or does something would suit in this situation right so the fact that probably we right we meet the fact that we meet 만나는 것 만나는 것 and 오늘 오늘 만나는 것 오늘 만나는 것 the fact that we meet today mm -hmm. 오늘 만나는 것 알아요? 알아요 means do you know? so do you know the fact that we meet today? which means do you know that we are meeting today? Do you know that we are meeting today? 오늘 만나는 것은 남자친구예요. Oh, Liana, that's a good point. Um, in terms of people, if you refer to someone, not something, you you cannot use the word 것. You have to use 오늘 만나는 사람은 오늘 만나는 사람은 남자친구예요. Like that. 오늘 You cannot use the word "cod" for people. 오늘 만나는 사람은 친구예요. Is that right? One tone? Yes, that's correct. Oops. 오늘 만나는 우? 만나는 사람은 친구예요. Perfectly correct. Can you use 명? No. 명 can be used when you count how many people there are. Like 한 명, 두 명, 세 명. But you can say, I mean, you cannot say 오늘 만나는 명. No, you cannot say that. But you can say 오늘 만나는 사람은 한 명이에요. Or 오늘 만나는 사람은 두 명이에요. Like that. 컷 is a counter? No, 컷 is not a counter. For 컷, <laughs> for things, for objects, for stuff, you have to use the word 개. So 한 개, 두 개, 세 개, 네 개, like that. Is this correct in the past? 어제 만나는 것 알았어요? I mean, grammatically, oh no, 어제 만나는 것 알았어요? In this case, 어제 means yesterday, so the past tense. 알았어요 is also the past form or past tense form of 알아요. But this one, 만나는 is not a past tense form. It's the present tense form, 만나는 것, 는 것. Is a present tense, so you have to change it to. That's right, one tone. 어제 만난 것 알았어요. This is the correct one. 어제 만난 것 알았어요. 어제 만난 것 알았어요. 어제 제가. Oops. 어제 제가 경화 씨 만난 거 알았어요. 어제 제가. 음, 현우 씨 만난 거 알았어요? Like that. Well done, everyone. When we use the phrase 만나는 사람은, is it no longer going to be the, the fact that I meet? Correct. Yes. City... City Lifestyle Studio. City Lifestyle Studio, yes, you are correct. 
제가 좋아하는 사람은 남친이에요. Yes, that's correct. And also, the next one, the next example sentence is 매운 거잘 먹어요? 매운 거잘 먹어요? What does this mean? What does this mean? 매운 거잘 먹어요? Is 언어꾼 correct? 숨진. Where did you see the word 언어꾼? That is not an existing phrase, but maybe someone coined it. Are you good at eating spicy food? Can you eat spicy? Did you eat the spicy thing well? Do you eat hot food? Yeah, everyone. Well done. So, 매운 것, 매운 것 is a combination of 맵다 and 은 것. 맵다 plus 은 것. So, 매운 것 means, I mean, there were five meanings for 는 것, like doing something, the act of doing something, the thing which one does, what one does, the fact that one is doing or does something. But um, in this case, since this is a descriptive verb, 맵다 is a descriptive verb, which means adjective in infinitive form. So 맵다 means to be spicy, yes. So um, I would use the number three, maybe. The thing which one does, the thing which one not one but this case which is spicy the thing that is spicy the thing that is spicy 매운 것 yes 매운 것 so 매운 것잘 먹어요 잘 먹어요 means uh, sometimes you can say, do you eat something well? And sometimes you can say, I mean, it can mean, are you good at eating it? <laughs> Which means maybe you can eat a lot of it. But in this case, probably this person is curious about the fact that this person is good at eating spicy food which means like very tolerant or maybe like that spicy food so um are you good at eating spicy food would be the natural translation 매운 거잘 먹어요 of course colloquially you can say 매운 거잘 먹어요 매운 것잘 먹어요. 매운 거잘 먹어요. Are the same thing. Un, what particle is this? Oh, u is just um. It's mepta is an irregular verb, so you have to. I mean, the verb stem of mepta is mep, right? Mep, but it doesn't become mebun <laughs> got. It does. Like it doesn't become. Oops. Not like that, right? This is incorrect. Because this is an irregular verb. So you have to drop this piup bachim and you just leave me and then you have to add u and then n got. Me un got. You will learn this. You will learn pub irregular in oh maybe level three. Let me check. What's happening? I cannot see the curricular. Let me check here.
I did the irregulars in level 3. Yeah, that's right. In level 3, there are a lot of irregular verbs, I mean, rules are introduced. Oh yeah, level 3, lesson 11. Level 3, lesson 11, you will learn how to conjugate these kind of verbs irregularly. <laughs> So, 매운 것, 잘 먹어요 was the last example sentence. And let's move on to sample sentences. Yay! The first sample sentence is 제 취미는 영화 보는 거예요. 제 취미는 영화 보는 거예요. 제 취미는 영화 보는 거예요. 매운 거 어느 정도는 먹을 수 있어요. Wow! Fauzia luck. Well done. Yes. My hobby is watching movies. Yes, yeah, that's right. Te is my and chimi. Chimi means hobby. Nin. Te chimi nin. My hobby is yonghua. Oops. Yonghua means a movie. Bonen. Go, 보는 거. That's right. 보다 means to watch, but since it's attached, 는 거, since 는 거 is attached, it became a noun. So you can say watching. Watching a movie. Yeah, my hobby is watching a movie. My hobby is watching movies. And the next one is 요즘 공부하는 거는 뭐예요? 요즘 공부하는 거는 뭐예요? 공부하는 거는 뭐예요? Okay, in this case, this person used 거. And just like this, 거. 요즘 공부하는 거는 뭐예요? What does that mean? 정도 무슨 뜻이에요? 정도? 정도 means about, around. What's the difference between 제 and 저희? Oh, that's a good question. 제, 저희 are exactly the same thing. Yeah, but 제 is easier to pronounce. So you can use 제 instead of 저희. 저희 is hard to pronounce, right? <laughs> That's right. Yay, everyone. 요즘 공부하는 건 뭐예요? What does 요즘 mean? 요즘. Yes, that's right. These days. 공부하는 거. 공부하는 거. 공부하는 거. Mm -hmm, that's right. 공부하다 means to study. So, 공부하는 거 can mean studying or what one studies or the fact that one studies. It can mean many different things. But in this case, since 뭐예요 means 뭐예요 means Yes, that's right. What is it? What is it? Yes, 뭐예요 means what is it? So, that... What is the thing that you study these days? Oops. Or, yeah, what is the thing that you study these days? So what Basically, what are you studying these days? What are you studying recently? Recently, what is it that you are studying? Okay, in the book, it's translated as recently, what is it that you are, oops, what is it that you are studying? Yes, recently, what is it that you are studying? This is how it's written on page 116.
공부합니다. Is formal of study? Um, yeah, 공부합니다 is like I, I study or someone studies, but yeah, in a formal way. 요즘 공부하는 거는 뭐예요? What is it that you're studying? What is the thing that you study these days? 음. All right. And the last final sample sentence for lesson 19, level 2 lesson 19 is 저는 친구랑 수다 떠는 거를 좋아해요. 저는 친구랑 수다 떠는 거를 좋아해요. I like chit chatting with my friends. I like to chat with my friends. I like chit chatting with my friends. What is suda to? Oh, suda. <laughs> suda to is suda nul is the basic form. Yes. Suda nul Suda tolda. Yes. This one means, just like everyone commented, to chit chat. To chit chat. So basically, 저는 I 친구랑 친구랑 means with my friend or maybe friends. 수다 떠는 거를 좋아해요. Let's just keep this part 수다 떠는 거 for now, and then 좋아해요 means like. So I like doing something with my friends or a friend. And what is 수다 떠는 거? Because 수다 떨다 means to chit chat. I like chit chatting with my friend. Because 수다 떠는 거 is the noun form of 수다 떨다. Yes, I like chit chatting with my friend or friends. 새로운 단어 배웠다. 감사합니다, <laughs> Liana. Yeah, you're welcome. Will we have enough time to review lesson 21? Okay, so Victor, oh no, not Victor. Yesi9663 wants to learn lesson 21. 보다 더. Okay, let's move on to lesson 21, which is on page 130. Yes. Will I be able to access the live streams after they are finished? Yes, because it will be saved. Yay! So lesson 21 is about 보다 더. Something something 보다 더. What's a nickname for someone who's good at languages? Oh, that's an interesting question. Mm, maybe 언어 천재? 언어 천재? 언어... 언어 박사? No, 언어 천재? This is literally means language genius. 언어 <laughs> 천재? Okay, so lesson 21 is about 보다 더. So after studying with this lesson, you will be able to compare two things, 
two things or people in Korean by saying that something is better or something is taller, something is faster, something is prettier, something is nicer, etc. than something else. How to say more in Korean, basically. So in Korean, the word for more is 더. More, 더. In Korean, you can say 더. And in English, relatively short words change forms instead of having the word more in front, such as short becomes shorter. And what else? Hot becomes hotter. Fast becomes faster, like this, instead of using more, right? But in Korean, all words just have in front of them. So, to be fast is 빠르다 in Korean. 빠르다. But, how do you say to be faster? 난 언어 천재 똑같이 생각했어요. Wow, Fauzia luck. Yes, you are 언어 천재. Korean is easier. Oh, Danielle, Lady Grey. Oh, in terms of making comparative right form, right? <laughs> I thought just in general. 더 빨라요. 더 돈이 있어요. 더 빨리. 더 빨라. <laughs> 더 빠른. Wow. So yeah, you can say, I mean, in the basic form, you can say 더 빠르다. You can just add 더. 더 in front of every adjective. Like, to be expensive. is 더, oops, <laughs> to be expensive. How do you say this in Korean? 저도 언어 천재 되고 싶다, 리아나. Oh yeah, me too. 저도 언어 천재 되고 싶어요. Could you please explain 때마다 how to use this? Okay, later. What is the difference between 누나 and 누이? Oh, 누이 is an old term. I've never used the word 누이. <laughs> Yes, that's right. To be expensive is pisada, and to be more expensive, to be more expensive, that's right. To pisada. Mm -hmm. That's right. And oh, one more, one more one, one more. To be pretty is to be pretty. To be pretty, I am reading 131, page 131, level 2. Yepuda, that's right. Yepuda. And to be prettier is that's right. So yes, it's easier in Korean. So let's move on to how to say then in Korean. The word for then or compared to is nasodu then compared to I have a question. Do you guys sell the workbook version of level 6 and 7? Not yet, but we are working on it, so please wait a little more. <laughs> I will, I mean, we will publish level 6 workbook and level 7 workbook as well. That's right. 보다. 보다. And the basic construction for this is not very complicated, but the word order in Korean is completely different from English. So take a look at the following example. The English version is a watermelon is bigger than an apple. A watermelon is bigger than an apple. How about Korean? The Korean version 
word order is completely different. A watermelon, what is watermelon in Korean? Hangugona Hebrew Bodato Shipta. Shita? Shipta. You meant shipta, right, Seth? That's right. Watermelon is subak. Subak. Subagun. How about bigger? To be bigger. That's right. Yes. Tokoyo. Tokoyo. To be bigger. Then, what is then in Korean? I'm waiting. 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, that's right. Boda. Then an apple. What is apple in Korean? Il, i, sam, sa, o. You, yes, 사과. But 수박은 더 커요 보다 사과. Mm, it doesn't make any sense, right? In Korean, you have to say it differently. I mean, the word order is quite different. So you have to change it to... That's right. 수박은 사과 보다 더 커요. 수박은 사과보다 더 커요. This is the right order. So in the English sentence above, the word then comes before apple, then an apple. But in Korean, the word 보다 보다, which means then, comes after 사과. 사과 보다, which means apple. 사과보다 더 커요. 커요. That's right. Yes, good point. You can also say 사과보다 수박이 더 커요. You can also say it like that. Yeah. 사과보다 수박이 더 커요. The point is that you have to attach 보다 to 사과. 사과보다, not 보다 사과. <laughs> 보다 사과, eh, wrong. You have to say 사과보다, then an apple. So, then a in Korean is a Boda. A boda. Then A is A boda. Or more something 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 come oops. Oh uh, then A is A boda to ding ding ding. More mm -mm -mm, than A is A boda to mm -mm -mm, in Korean. Why subagi not subangnun? Oh, you cannot say subangnun. You have to say subagun. But in this case, I'm emphasizing that subag is bigger than sagwa, so I use the e. Subagi tokoyo. I'm emphasizing not sagwa. The bigger one is subag. Subagi tokoyo. Sagaboda oh, subagun tokoyo is correct, Virgil. Oh, yes, it is correct. It is not wrong. Fethia at a bar. Good example sentence. Fethia at a bar. 
Spezia Ediba. That's a good one. And um, let's make, let's practice making sentences more. What is to be big? Topic 시험 비디오 좀 만들어요. Team T T M I K. Oh, 알겠어요. Sabit M D A S A D. 크다. That's right. 크다. How about to be bigger? To be bigger. Hana, two, set, net. Okay, talk that. That's right. Talk that. And it's bigger. How do you say this in Korean? That's right. Talk coil. How about the next one? It's bigger than this one. It's bigger than this one. 더 큽니다. Oh yeah, Monica Han Spani. Yes, that's also correct. It's bigger than this one. 일, 이, 삼, 사, 오. That's oh. No, not really. Angie Ng La Ng Lagawa. Mm, not quite. What what is then this one? That's right, yes, yes. This one is ego and then is Boda. So ego Boda. Ego oops <laughs> Ego Boda. Then this one. Talk coil. It's bigger. I don't know what's bigger than this one, but yeah. 이거보다 더 커요 means it's bigger than this one. How about to be nice? How do you say to be nice in Korean? To be nice, to be good. We are almost running out of time and this lesson is so important. Oh my god, yes, C9663. That's right. Oh yes, takada is fine and but in this book it's using chuta. So to be nicer would be to be nice. Yes, takada is also fine, yes. Chuta. 다정하다, or, or good. To be nicer. Yes, that's right. 더 좋다. To be nicer. And it's nicer. It's nicer. Yeah, that's right. 더 좋아요. And the last one is nicer than this one. It's nicer than this one. How do you say this in Korean? Wow! I Yuna Hana Nim Buddha to Juai. Wow, Seth Bowman. Wow, your favorite singer is IU. Wow, you love IU that much. Okay, that's right. Then this one is Ego Buddha To Juai. Then this one is Ego Buddha. So Ego Buddha To Juai. Ego Buddha To Juai. Yes, it's nicer than this one. Okay, so if you say to be nice to people, oops, just like a lot of you guys commented, it can also mean 착하다. If, if someone is being nice to someone, you can say 착하다. In this case, to be nicer is
to be nicer. Please make sentences that are not in the lesson already. Oh, at scene. Okay, I will. But since a lot of people are not, I mean, do not have this book right now, so I'm gonna cover the uh, sentences that are already in the book first, and then I'm gonna make a new sentence. Yes, that's right. To be nicer. And okay, uh -huh. <laughs> so in this book, uh, it says Kyono is nicer. Kyono is nicer. So yeah, it's not a new sentence. It's already in the book. I don't know why it's in here, but the reason why this sentence is here because Kyono wrote this. <laughs> so Kyono is nicer is Florida is all. 23시라서 bed <laughs> Luis Banegas Sebi so it's 11 yes that's right 현우 씨는 응? 더 착해요 현우 is nicer and the nice <laughs> the last one is 현우 is nicer than 경은 This is the last sentence for lesson 21 today. I mean, there are more simple sentences, but for today, I'm gonna end here. So what is Hyunwoo is nicer than Kyungun? That's right. You actually learn a so later in level where was a PSO there there was a lesson I remember but yeah anyway later not in level 2 lesson 21 that's right all right, everyone. Yes, 경은 씨보다 현은 씨. Yeah, that's right. You can swap the position. 경은 씨보다 현우 씨가 더 착해요. Yes. Why is seen? Uh, why is 씨는 used? Uh, because she is a um, way of mentioning someone uh, formally and politely and if you want to ask if you wanted to ask why nun is used it's because it's just in generally i mean in general you're saying hyunwoo is nicer than kyungwoo but in this one kyungwoo 씨보다 hyunwoo 씨가 더 착해요 is emphasizing that uh, compared to kyungwoo hyunwoo is the one who is nice nicer all right, everyone, well done today, and I'm gonna end this lesson today. So, have a nice weekend. 주말 잘 보내시고, 어, 저는 다음 주는 휴가라서 다 다음 주 금요일에 만나요. I'll be back in two weeks. But Hyunwoo will replace me next Friday, so you're gonna be able to study next Friday as well. But I will be back in two weeks. 2주 후에 만나요. 안녕! Ah, <laughs> I'm